Hi everyone, my name is uh, Asifa Nasir and I am the Principal Teacher of Science for Broad General Education and I also coordinate the wheels in the school. So I'm going to tell a little bit about the purpose of, so we, we have an acronym for a lot of things but wheels is the coolest one I think. Um, so Wider Achievement Opportunities are, were introduced a few years back because we felt the need for it. So we, we realised and you will already know yourself that employers and universities and colleges are not only looking for academic, academic achievements now, there's a lot of competition and we have to allow pupils to build up a portfolio of wider achievements, but it's really important for them to also be able to talk about the skills that they're developing in those wider achievements as well. So we decided to introduce Wales for that reason and I'm going to tell you a little about, about the, the skills that are de they're, de they're developing in these wheels and how we allow pupils to choose the wheels as well because the list is quite um, extensive and the choices they have are, are very exciting so pupils will be picking whatever wheel they like but we'd like to kind of give them a little bit more of a focus into, into the correct wheel. So when we first introduced the wheels we looked at the skills in building the curriculum for and the Scottish Employer Skills Survey which highlighted skills that they were finding people, people were coming in um, and that they were lacking in these skills. So these were the initial our sources for, for the skills that we had actually highlighted in the wheels and we want pupils to develop. And then over time we had our, our um, framework for Larbert High School which was developed and we wanted to ensure that pupils are able to talk about the skills and the language for the framework was very suitable for our pupils as well. And we ensured that we had, um, oh my skills framework is going to come along there. We ensured, oh, that's all right. It's supposed to. It's the skills framework that you have, the document you have out there anyway. So, um, our our wheels have actually got all the skills highlighted, um, in that document that you have in front of you. So the the wheel that we have offered to the pupils have actually got a skill which is a primary skill that we have highlighted and a secondary skill. So the primary skill is the main focus, and we actually advertise our wheel through the primary skill uh, for the pupils to keep in mind, and the teachers highlight this particular skill throughout the year as well. So for example, if it is digital learning, that is a skill that we're going to be focusing on throughout the year. And we're going to be looking at two or three sub-skills within digital learning that pupils will be able to develop and give examples from the work they've carried out throughout the year. So our wheels are timetabled um, for S2 and 3 pupils in the broad general education and S5 and 6 pupils in the senior phase for two periods a week. And when pupils come to select the wheels, they're advertised through our Learner Journeys website and also through <coughs> workshops during curriculum information evenings, which we tell them a little bit about each of the, each of the wheels that we're offering and also about um, the benefits of them as well. There's a huge variety of exciting wheels, computer games design, and the main skill in here is digital learning. We have digital photography, we have criminal psychology, sports journalism. So all of these wheels are advertised, as I said, just with the main skill. And some of our pupils will tell you a little bit about um, some of the wheels that they had undertaken and the benefits for it as well. So this is our S2 list and we have a similar list for S3 and senior phase. And quite a lot of our wheels have a natural progression into the senior phase as well. And when, when they're having their, their meeting and discussions with their parents and with the pupil support teachers, it's really important for us to, to highlight a wheel that will benefit them the most because in my faculty in science, I know some of our, of our pupils are really focused on the science, so they pick three sciences, English and maths, and we would want them to maybe focus on, so that's a skill set, a scientific skill that they're going to be mainly focusing on. So we would be, we would be wanting them as pupil support teachers to maybe come out with the faculty and develop another set of skills that will benefit them in the future. So for example, they, they may be going into the health and wellbeing faculty to, to look at leadership skills that they want to develop through sports leaders, for example. Our little, uh, and a progression example is um, little leaders leads to sports leaders, so they could continue that and work with, work with um, in the senior phase with pri our primary schools as well. We had a new way introduced this year, which is our link with Strathcarran Hospice, and it's a, it's a, it's a really exciting wheel because Strathcarran is actually our, our main link charity, and our pupils will actually be going to work with the residents at Strathcarran Hospice, but also be developing skills at the same time. So this one in particular is Mess Through Music for Wellbeing and the pupils will be learning to play a new instrument at a higher level um, and they will go out to teach it to the residents there and they will also be um, learning at the same time as well as our pupils as well. We also have a creative writing one which is really interesting and a sports one to engage them in um, sports activities when they go out to the hospital. So it's just giving back to the community uh, as well as building skills and getting accreditation for it at the same time. 
the main, the main thing is the skills development, but if naturally they can actually be awarded with something, we like to capture that uh, achievement as well. So the majority of our wheels in the senior phase are actually accredited with an award. And this, these are some of the awards that we have. Um, and in BGE, there isn't so much of focus on accreditation, but where we can, we will accredit them. So we do have a high percentage of our BGE wheels in S23 also being accredited with awards as well. Um, and it's just it's just extra extra uh, achievements for them to, and to, to basically compete in, the, in a competitive uh, world when they leave school. This is just some of the the feedback we've had from pupils and parents in the past, um, talking about the benefits for Wales. It took a bit of time getting parents on side because they feel as though academic achievements are the main priority, and this could maybe be used for for revision and um, when, they, when their pupils actually experience the whales and they, they realise the benefits for it as well.